Hi, I'm Tassa Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainee here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make an organic retinol serum using the world's first natural retinol, which also doesn't contain any BHA or BHT. Now let me show you how to put it together. Okay, so up the front here I have my phase A ingredients. I have my water phase here, and to this I'm gonna add a organic hydrosol. So there are a few available that you can get. Next, I'm gonna go in with these water-soluble lipids. These are the Burger Care Aqua Lipids. So this one here is the Cassis BR. And this one here is the Burger Care Punica. So it's got a nice, beautiful orange color. So my next ingredient here I am gonna be adding for sensory is the Verdescence Rice Touch powder so this is a natural sensory powder it's going to help give a nice mattifying effect to my serum but also oil absorbing as well So this is one of the few of the Verdescence range that has been released from BASF. They're quite new and they're really good materials and they also meet the natural criteria as well. Just going to give that a stir. It's also going to give a nice cushiony feel as well. So mattifying, cushiony, but also oil absorbing as well. Okay, next to bring my serum together, I am going to be using another one from the Verdescence range, which is the Xanthum. This is a really good clear grade of Xanthum. It's also not as stringy or gluggy as some other grades as well, and it's exceptionally clear. You won't really see that in this product today because of the aqua lipids I've used. It's turned it into kind of like a milky emulsion. Um, but if you're aiming for a really clear product, this is the way to go. So I'm going to slurry this in a bit of organic glycerin. And as I said before, the Verdescence range is natural, so you can use it in natural or organic formulations. Okay, so once you have a nice smooth slurry, we're just going to add that into our water phase here. And as you can see, that's got a nice, good serum viscosity there. Not too runny, but also not too thick either. It's giving a nice milky serum effect. So now for my star ingredient. So this is the first natural or 100% natural retinol or vitamin A. So this is the Ready Life by Givaden. So it's 100% natural according to the ISO 16128 standard. It's identical to the petrochemical retinol molecule. So it's made from plant sugars. It then goes through a fermentation and distillation uh, process. So you can use it in natural claiming products and also organic. It's got great antioxidant benefits as well as your anti-aging as well. Uh, it's also got good skin penetration and bioavailability. So it is oil soluble, so you will have to uh, pre-disperse it in a bit of oil or a lipid. So I'm gonna be using the Sed Yourself PFO by BASF. This is a really nice medium skin feel lipid. I don't want it to be too dry, obviously, because I'm using a mattifying powder or oil absorbing powder as well. So I do wanna add a bit of emolliency to it. I'm also just gonna add in my tocopherol as well. This also has good skin benefits, but I'm also using it because I'm just gonna add a little bit of essential oil, just for a nice scent. This is just a floral blend from off the shelf here, but of course you can use your own. So I'm just gonna give that a little mix, make sure it's all dispersed and homogenous, and then I'm gonna add it in. Okay, once that's added in, just add it into your serum there. And lastly, I'm just gonna add in my preservative. So I'm using GearGuard ECT here. This is a naturally derived or nature identical preservative, so it's okay to use in organic formulas. Okay, and lastly, I'm just gonna check and adjust my pH. Okay. 
And as always, we're gonna cover and leave this overnight to see how it goes overnight, to see if there's any signs of instability. Okay, so here's what my serum is looking like the next day. As you can see, it's quite yellow. Um, I've just poured it into a dropper bottle just to show you what it's like in a serum container. You probably do want to use a opaque or UV resistant bottle because there's essential oils and obviously the, the retinol, you want to protect it from oxidizing. Such a beautiful, vibrant yellow color and it's spreading absolutely beautifully. It still feels really emollient, but not heavy and greasy. So quite light, um, as you can see as well, it's got a really nice mattifying effect as well from the the Descent's Rice Touch. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to put together a organic retinol serum using the world's first 100% natural vitamin A or retinol material by Givaden. If you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on all our videos. Happy formulating.